We are now well on the road to recovery across our area. Here's another encouraging sign. A ribbon cutting at SEPTA's 5th Street Station and the end of capacity limits on trains, trolleys and buses. Jeff Cole is live at the station and Jeff, all of this is a positive sign, but SEPTA is still feeling the effects of the pandemic. Oh, they certainly are. Listen, before the pandemic, SEPTA would have about a million riders across all its platforms. Now it has about 400,000. That's money. It takes a lot of money to run a transportation authority. It's why, in part, SEPTA will be relying on federal aid for years to come. Near City Hall, it was bus after SEPTA bus pulling up with passengers on board, but certainly not the standing room only crowd of pre pandemic days. Just how Robin Hunter likes it. Anybody, anytime can ride SEPTA. What do you think? I'm not ready for that. No. How come? I liked it better when it was less people. I'm not ready to, for another full bus. But SEPTA is. And today it dropped all COVID capacity limits, opening its trains, trolleys, buses, and subways to anyone who pays the fare. SEPTA is ready to play a major part in bringing our city back. And we're ready to welcome riders back. Our stations and vehicles are cleaned continuously throughout the day, and all of our vehicles are well ventilated. It was a day of upbeat news for the Transportation Authority that surely needs it. The pandemic has bled SEPTA of riders and punished it with ongoing losses of a million bucks a day. Open that stage. Believing its toughest days are in the past, SEPTA cut the ribbon Tuesday on a $20 million renovation of its 5th Street station in the heart of the city's historic district. Included in the work, art, tying the area's history to its diversity. We know that people are coming back to work uh, in office buildings. We need that back because we need people to go out and eat lunch and shop and do the things that they're used to doing when they're back in their offices. SEPTA says ridership on its buses, trolleys and subways is at 40 percent, while only 20 percent of its regional rail riders are back. It will lean heavily on hundreds of millions of dollars in federal aid to cover costs through 2024 and hope folks hitch a ride. The bus is a lot fuller than it was like a month ago, but people are still not sitting right next to each other. But I had to stand as opposed to last month where I didn't. There you go. She had to stand a sign that people are getting back on the buses. Also, SEPTA's revenue is in part due to tourists that work through this region and old city. And as we stand here tonight, certainly we are seeing tourists. Not the numbers that we've seen in the past, but some tourists back in the region. Live here in Old City, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News, folks. That's